what can I say? More near universal praise for the movie that I executive produced, Uncle Tom. More about near praise in just a sec, so stick around. This time on Uncle Tom. That's right. I watched the documentary last night that is directed by Justin Malone, executive produced by Larry Elder. It features uh, black Americans like Alan West, Candace Owens, Brandon Tatum, Chad O. Jackson, and many others. Larry Elder's in it and talks about the plight, trials, and tribulations in the history of the conservative black Republican Party. It is absolutely one of the most powerful documentaries I've ever seen. Let's check out some of the IMDB reviews, shall we? Everyone in America needs to know the true history and tactics of the Democrat Party, not the ridiculous version written by progressive historians. I expected nothing less from Larry Elder. I had a lengthy conversation with the liberal after we both watched the film and also watched the Netflix documentary The 13th. Made for great conversation once we tackled the very issues addressed in Uncle Tom and compared it with the prison documentary The 13th, which in my opinion fails to point out the real reasons for crime and lawlessness in the black community. This, this documentary touches about how important religion is to the black community and how the Democratic Party has gotten away from that. Black Lives Matter does not support the nuclear family. And it talks about the nuclear family. This is a powerful, it is a must-see documentary. Um, if it's not the best documentary I've ever seen, it's probably at least in the top five, maybe. And he voted for Obama twice. What was he thinking? And it touches on how powerful it was when Obama got elected, and it was. I voted for the man twice. I find your arguments strewn with gaping defects in logic. IMDb. This movie should be required viewing in every classroom for every American. The sad part is that many people are learning these facts for the first time. American history is black history, but that is not what the propaganda liberal version teaches in the federal education system. The movie Uncle Tom is a major leap in the direction of truth and freedom. So straight into the point, it was awesome. I love the Uncle Tom documentary. Um, I recommend it to anybody who wants to, get in, wants to get into politics, who want to know more about black conservatives. And I, I think it's a, it's a good video, a video that highlights the struggles and the, the trials that a lot of black conservatives or non-Democrats go through. And he gets it. A lot of these thoughts that a lot of these predominantly black conservatives talk about in the documentary i do feel like a lot of black people feel that way naturally it's just that over time um we get corrupted by the media by propaganda by what um society tells us is true and, and what's not true email ed from evanston it was excellent and I'm happily advocating for others to watch it as well. It brought me back 30 years to when I was one of only a handful of white kids in a college class of over 120 studying African-American literature. It was there that I first learned of the schism between W.E.B. Du Bois and Booker T. Washington. And he goes on to say that history seemed to have dissed Booker T. Washington and he hopes that my film will perhaps rectify this imbalance. It's a, it's a full interpretation of you know, an idea of like what black people have gone through and then what, what we're currently going through right now. IMDb. Larry Elder has put together a series of interviews with recently red-pilled black Americans on his history. They focused on fathers in the home. You know, a lot of the people that I think they were interviewing, they talked about their fathers being in the home. Black fathers matter, and there's a huge difference between a father and a dad. And it wasn't a single parent home. I had brothers in my crib, you know what I'm saying? It was me. I happened to be the youngest out of five boys, you know? So the one thing I, you know, I want to shed the light on is that a lot of people think that when it comes down to growing up with boys in the home, can, can that substitute the father figure? And it, it really can't. 
Now, this reviewer calls himself a political independent. Let me make a few things very clear. I'm not a Republican, I'm not a Democrat. I have some conservative views and I have some liberal views. And this documentary, it's about a bunch of African-American conservatives and their views and a lot of stuff that's happening right now about black America. And it was a very, very interesting documentary. Look, like I said, I'm independent. I vote on what I feel is in my best interest. But a lot of Americans don't do that. It's a game mentality they have. If I'm a Republican, I ride or die with the Republicans. If I'm a Democrat, I ride or die with the Democrats. And right now in this culture, I feel a lot of people aren't hearing each other out. It's all about, you know, if you don't agree with me, fuck you. And if you don't agree with me, fuck you. Both sides are saying, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. No one actually sits down and just talks. No one has conversations. And hell, let it be a black conservative who's trying to explain his views on things. The first thing you get called is Uncle Tom. Hence the documentary. Uncle Tom. I'm a conservative man. I've seen many depictions of conservatives in my life, none of which spoke to me the way that Uncle Tom does. This movie illustrates how you can trust in America, believe in yourself, work hard, and you can achieve anything. Stop asking what others can do for you and find ways that you can do for yourself. The greatest principle of self-reliance is part of the DNA of every man, woman, and child. End of quote. And how really the Democrats have a lot of policies in place that are very questionable. The reason I say that is because I grew up in a household where it was Democrats. We always voted Democrats. Democrat, Democrat, Democrat. That's the way to go. That's the good party. The Republicans, that's the bad party. And as I got older, I realized it's not really black or white. More email. Heather from Spanaway, Washington. I watched Uncle Tom and found comfort and peace knowing that there are still intelligent, logical, and unafraid people in the USA. Everyone in the film is remarkable, but I want to send a shout out to Brandon Tato. He's the closest to my age and we share similar backgrounds. I purchased a streaming film from my household and donated a hard copy to the library on our local military base. End of quote. So was the documentary good? Well, the documentary is essentially good because if you already believe in conservatism, and I don't mean believe like in a um, derogatory way, but if you already um, agree with some of the views of conservatism and you are already familiar with these um, individuals in this video, you would probably agree with this documentary. If you are unfamiliar with these individuals in this um, documentary or you know who they are as more provocateurs or trolls, then you might not like this documentary. I mean, anybody or anywhere I'm looking on the internet, when I'm seeing anybody reviewing it, it's pretty much this is the documentary that the left doesn't want us to see. Actually, I've been interviewed by the Australian media about Uncle Tom. I've been interviewed by the Swedish media about Uncle Tom, by the South Korean media about Uncle Tom, the BBC. But as for American movie critics, well... <whistles> now to Twitter. This gentleman merely praised Uncle Tom on Twitter and got suspended. Here's his tweet. Saw Uncle Tom documentary today. One of the best and most important documentaries I've ever seen. Congratulations. Hashtag Uncle Tom film. Hashtag Uncle Tom. Hashtag the Herman Cain and so forth. He got a letter that said the following. Violating our rules against hateful conduct. Our support team has determined that a violation did take place and therefore we will not overturn our decision. One thing that I don't think that too many people are too familiar with is that real life individual who inspired the book Uncle Tom, which his name is Josiah Henson. And his story is really remarkable. He's an abolitionist and he was a slave and he was lived through the brutality of slavery, but he was able to get out of slavery and he was able to start his own school, which is commendable. So like I said, it's a very interesting story about Mr. Josiah, but I didn't even, I didn't even know that about it, but doing research for this video, I learned more about Josiah. So I thought that was really cool to know about um, Josiah Henson's inspiration. More from IMDB. And this guy, you can tell he didn't want to like it, but he got gobsmacked with so much fact and history, he didn't know what to do. The victimhood mentality, which technically the same thing as slave mentality, is technically the same thing. It's just a new word to replace the word for a slave with victim, and the technically same thing. It's <laughs> reason I'm I wouldn't say this is an inspirational 
but it, it draws you to talk about it. And my thing is here. There are certain things I see in this that make me want to discuss some things that come up. And I watched it twice, and I might need to watch it three times. Now, as I said, the acclaim wasn't universal. I love the non-victimhood leaders in this film. This is a wonderful documentary that I bought immediately when released. As a white man who is not racist, I refuse to allow others to make me feel racist. So what rating did he give us? Only God is perfect, so nine out of 10. Okay, I'll take the nine. Here's the trailer. Obama tore this country down. No one stood up to him, nobody, because he was black. You need to wake up. My parents didn't teach me that I was a victim. They can turn back voting rights. Didn't nobody donate to us the right to vote? Who's your house, nigga? I didn't call you a nigga. Oh, OK, that, that's a big difference. Uh, right. Uncle right. Tom. Right. And Uncle Tom is somebody who has sold out by embracing the white man. Uncle Tom. Bedwench. Boot liquor. Black white supremacist. Chucking and jiving. House Negro. Coon. Uncle Tom. Coon. Coon. I have a Coon Award over there. Coon of the Year Award. Most black people don't believe that other blacks can be independent free thinkers. I believe the legacy and the ancestry of black Americans is being insulted every single day. I will not pretend to be a victim in this country. I know that that makes many people on the left uncomfortable. Racist, racist, racial, racist, racism. A thousand cuts of racism. The liberal will try to control a black person through the concept of racism because they know that we are very proud, emotional people. I never felt that because I was black or I was poor or or a woman that I couldn't do something. I grew up being told of my disadvantages, that this country is unfair to black people. The ideology is implanted into you subconsciously to believe these things. It's like a cancerous plague in the mind of black Americans. We're brainwashed to think, well, is it because I'm black? America's not ours, or we got shipped here, no. Our blood is on this soil. We own this, too. There should be a pride that we have in the fact that this country was built by many great black men and women. Are you trying to say that this country does not specialize in racism and bigotry? So long as black people continue to have their psyche filled by that nonsense, we won't have an awakening. Now, you can see the movie on UncleTom.com and be the first in your hood to get you some Uncle Tom merch. I'm Larry Elder, and we've got a country to save. I'll see you next time.